Hi, uh, welcome to Reform Tech channel. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about the AWS security white paper and a few other security services. All right. So, uh, yeah, so this is the AWS shared uh, security responsibility model. So, uh, AWS say, uh, says that, you know, the responsibility lies between both the customer and the AWS, okay. So, AWS takes care of the regions, availability zones, edge locations as a hardware and as a software, it takes care of the compute, storage, database and networking, okay. So, on top of which, whatever you add on, like say, you add a customer data, platform, applications, the IAM, operating systems, network, or uh, the encryption keys. So uh, whatever you add on top of this, uh, the customer has to hold the responsibility. So uh, this is called as an AWS shared uh, security responsibility model. And also you have an AWS security white paper, wherein uh, you, uh, uh, if you just Google and see the AWS security white paper, you'll see a lot more information about this. All right. So now uh, let's discuss. Uh, there are a lot of AWS security services. All right. So uh, I'll just give you a brief on few of them now. Okay. So the first one I would go with is AWS Config. So AWS Config is a service that enables you to access, audit, and evaluate the configuration of your AWS resources. Right, so uh, it is easy to track the changes uh, in the resources, like uh, when you attach anything or detach or delete. So you can find what service uh, it is and when the activity has been done. So all the things and we uh, easily you can find out with AWS Config. All right. So if you ask me, then what's the difference between the cloud trial which you just saw and this cloud config? Uh, I would say that cloud trial gives you a log that will be there for only 90 days and uh, you should move it to S3 again to uh, see the logs but here it shows you in a UI okay if, if you go with AWS config uh, it will show uh, the logs in the UI and also if someone opens a port to entire world and then closes it we can uh, see that action uh, like who did it okay so uh, those things also will be captured here so that you can easily identify who perform that action okay so this is uh, one security service uh, from AWS uh, let's move on to the other next AWS security service that is the God duty so it is a threat detection service that continuously monitors your AWS accounts and your workloads for any malicious activity all right so uh, this could be similar to the uh, AWS inspector but the difference is that uh, the inspector is uh, specific to application task, okay? But uh, GoDaddy, on the other hand, will continuously monitor your AWS accounts and the workloads. So it uses some uh, like intelligence feeds, uh, like in malicious IP address, domains, or machine learning to identify unexpected and potentially unauthorized uh, activity in your AWS account. Okay, like uh, unusual API calls, uh, any instance deployed in a region that has never been used. So all these things can be tracked with the help of the service called AWS God Duty. All right, so le next we'll move on to the next service, Amazon Messi. So this is also a fully managed uh, data security and data privacy service. Um, so uh, I can take uh, S3 uh, maybe for an example of this. So uh, like it discovers and protects your sensitive data that are stored in the uh, AWS S3 buckets. Okay, so it first identifies the sensitive data in your buckets, uh, like your personally, uh, if you kept something personally identifying information or your health information. Uh, these can be identified by running a discovery jobs, and then you schedule these jobs to monitor uh, new data added to your buckets. Okay, so once you find this, then uh, Messi continuously evaluates your buckets and it alerts you when uh, the bucket is unencrypted. So it says that you it is unencrypted and you have to take actions or it is publicly accessible uh, so that you have to block the access, access or uh, is shared with AWS accounts outside your organization uh, to restrict the access. It, uh, I, it, tells you to stop the access so uh, these are some intelligent things that Macy analyzes your in your s3 buckets and it informs you so that you can act accordingly 
okay and so this is about the Amazon Meshi and we'll move on to the next and that is AWS Security Hub so it is a cloud security posture management service that performs security best practice check uh, and enables automated remediations okay so when I say this uh, I also mean that it uh, the other advantage of this is that it combines information from all uh, uh, the AWS services I mean uh, all the above services in the, like central it's like an unified like single zone okay so it collects data from all security services from multiple AWS accounts and regions so if you have multiple AWS accounts and multiple regions also what it does is it collects all those data and it keep it in one place so that it consolidate and keep it in one place so that it is easy for you to view it okay so uh, that is one good uh, part of the AWS security hub so it acts as a hub basically okay so wherein it uh, pulls all the data and it stores here okay so uh, that is about the AWS security hub and uh, next we have this AWS shield okay so uh, this is a managed uh, DDoS that is distributed denial of service protection uh, that safeguards your application on AWS <coughs> Uh, so this is by default it is enabled uh, in a free tier also so it is enabled uh, as a free standard service uh, with protection against uh, common uh, DDoS attacks alright so shield advanced uh, you have another one called a shield advanced so that goes a step further okay so uh, with it works with the AWS WAF WAF we'll see in the next slide what it is about but uh, just to identify the malicious traffic uh, from reaching your website so if anyone any hackers are trying to reach a website so it uh, it'll identify that you know uh, it is an unusual uh, API call uh, but that it it will uh, let us know okay so it can cover multiple accounts under an organization to ensure that all your organizations interface I mean internet facing uh, applications are uh, protected from attackers so uh, it it's basically shields your account okay so that is one good part of the AWS shield and I'll move on to the next service that is the AWS WAF that is called as web application firewall so it uh, the name itself says that it protects you from the web applications or API okay so it monitors and protects applications uh, and APIs built on services like CloudFront, API Gateway or AppSync and you can also block uh, your endpoints based on different criteria like source IP or the origin country or the headers the bodies or uh, anything else like you know we can limit the IP so uh, basically you can do these activities right so you can uh, block them uh, so that you know uh, you are protected from the attackers okay so uh, that is uh, about the AWS WAF now let's move on to the next servers AWS secret manager Alright, so this helps you to protect access to your application services and IT resources uh, like uh, it is like in vault I'll say so uh, what happens here is you can store and retrieve sensitive information such as your database credentials your certificates your tokens everything can be stored here okay so uh, uh, like uh, it is very useful for you to store here because you know uh, like like you have this Amazon uh, RDS so forwards you need to store the credentials right so instead of you can store in this place this is one good place to store uh, through lambda functions a secrets for other services can be automatically rotated as well so you can uh, rotate the secrets also um, like you can set up a period of time like six months or whatever period you can set and you can trigger a lambda functions I'll come to lambda in upcoming videos but yeah using that you can uh, automatically change or rotate the password okay and never store your password uh, in source control management system like git so you should always use a source like AWS secret manager so uh, where you can store your all your credentials alright so yeah so that is about all the uh, I, I think I covered most of the AWS security services and I know uh, it is uh, much challenging now for you to choose which one you're going to use but uh, I would say that understand your requirement and just deep dive in more on each of them and uh, then choose the one that, bits, uh, that best fits your need or requirement. Okay. 
Alright, uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.